Hey, Bunny. Yes? Here's a fun fact for you, okay? This is a fun fact. A little tidbit. A little bit of trivia for you, Bunny. Did you know that you can fuck a peach? Uh, no. And I, I don't think I believe it. And yeah. how does a peach give consent? Well, well, I'm assuming you have to take out the the so the pit really first. Yeah, but I I actually did not know that you could fuck a peach. In fact, I'm just completely ignorant. I think on which foods are good for a man to for a man to shove his Wii controller into. Yeah, and I would like to take some time to say that that it was work. Yeah, it was it was work to have somehow not seen any of the American <laughs> Pie movies. Yeah, that was hard back in the day to have not seen any of the American Pie movies. When the first one came out, I was twenty two years old. That was prime sex comedy age, bunny. Yes, it was hard not to have. I've never seen American Pie, any of the American Pies. Anyway, there's a movie. And it, it it came out at the end of last year for Oscar inclusion. It's based on a book by author Andre. I don't have to know his name anymore, so fuck that. Okay. But this movie, it's called Call Me By Your Name. That's the name of the movie. Art film. It was up for Oscars. I, I believe it won Best Adapted Screenplay. Because, because uh, what's his? Because Tommy Wiseau can't win it. Yeah. So one of the characters in the film has sex with a peach. Okay. There's a peach fucking scene, Bunny. And what's even stranger? What's even stranger is that there was a a a peach fucking scene in an Oscar award winning film. <laughs> Therefore, I think <laughs> it's 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 safe to say that there's a new popular trend in high society, and that trend is peach fucking. Peach fucking, yes. It's time peach fucking is the new come. hot thing. It's a trend. What did you say? It's time has finally come. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, after so many people, peach fucking. yeah. After so many people, uh, fucking peaches in 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 silence and in shame. You know, it's good yeah. to see that the peach Slight fucking aside. community can finally come out and and you know start fighting for it, for its rights. Yeah. Slight aside, I told my wife that I wanted to fuck a peach, and and my wife uh, freaked a bit out. Yeah. Because that same day, Natasha's internet friends had just brought up Call Me By Your Name and the peach fucking scene that same day. So to be clear, oftentimes I jokingly refer to myself as psychic. Now, it's always bullshit. It's just that sometimes it's less bullshit. Mm-hmm. It really does, like, coincidentally coincide really well with a lot of things in our lives. Yeah, coincidentally coincide. I saw them in concert. I know, they, were they were amazing. Fantastic. They were amazing. They did. They did that entire concept album from '97. I know, and the colors. Yeah, oh yeah, God. it was incredible. So, peach fucking. Peach fucking. I, I'm a slave to trends, but I'm yeah. a slave to to popular trends. So, for the last three weeks, I've been looking for peaches yeah, it, to fuck. Really... Uh huh. And oh my God, there are no peaches in this city. I swear to God, and believe me, I've looked. There are no peaches anywhere. You know what would have been a peach? Of course are, I am. I am so down with that. Okay, look, of course I am. You gotta, you know what? You what, what the perfect it. one would have been. Huh. Remember that one, the day my due date for Bella, and we went to downtown to the store, and I had to hand over my keys to my old manager so that he could take over my job while I was yeah. on maternity leave. Yeah. And we walked through Farmer's Market, and I picked up that yes. peach, and I will never forget that was the most delicious peach, but it was fucking huge. Huge. That, that was a huge peach. One. Yeah. Yeah. That was a huge Personally, peach. I've been looking for peaches. Personally, right? If I had a, a penis, I would go for an orange. You know? Oh, like, no. The, know, citrus. Like, mm. the citrus. No. Ouch. I mean, like, I'm not saying I would, but I'm, I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to say it wouldn't work, but like ideally, if the citrus didn't hurt and it wasn't fucking 
yeah. all kinds of sticky. Gotcha. You could take the stem part out of the middle and then just... You know, I imagine if it didn't have such a huge seed, a mango wouldn't be too bad. I'm I'm old-fashioned. I'm still a melon man. The avocado altogether. Hold on. What was that, Bunny? I'm old-fashioned. I'm still a melon man. Melon. A melon man? Yeah, see, I was just telling the girls here about, you know, cantaloupe. Yeah. Watermelon. Uh, they said watermelon. They countered no. with watermelon. So. Any Not kind of a, melon, a, a, a honeydew in a pinch, you know? Yes, a honeydew, a honeydew would work. I mean, especially if you didn't take out the gooey bits. Yeah. Fuck a cold watermelon like a pan. So so I so I told my wife that, that I've been looking for a peach and I can't find a peach. And so my wife says, Oh, peaches aren't in season. But yeah, and yet when strawberries aren't in season, you can still find fucking strawberries. No, nope, yeah. because there's the different strains of strawberries you see, and they're also imported. When other things aren't in season, you can still find other things, but this peaches aren't in season. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yes. Sorry, he's stealing the child's toy because it's too loud and the toy has no volume control. Ah. Uh. Yeah. My baby sisters have one. No, it's loud and louder. Oh. The, the, the danger. The danger <laughs> I just. Of I just think it's. I just. I just think it's odd that I can't find a single peach. So here's what I think. Okay. Buddy. Yeah. Remember, I live in the Bible Belt, the holier-than-thou Midwest, and I think that peaches might have been banned. Why? Because peaches are gay now. Uh, peaches are the de- peaches are the devil's fruit now. That is a distinct possibility. That's what I'm thinking. Interesting follow-up, Bunny. Yes. Interesting follow-up. The director... The director of the movie Call Me By Your Name is this Mexican director, and he did this Oscar award-winning film, this massive Oscar award-winning film, and the studio said, wow, you won an Oscar, and this is such a big deal, and everyone's talking about this film. You can do whatever film you want. What film do you want to do next? And the, the Mexican director said, Suspiria. Okay. I, I, so I've... now he's doing... So now he's... So now he's doing this modern day remake of Suspiria, and so CinemaCon is happening right now. The convention for people who own the wrong, convention baby? for people who own movie theaters, and they showed scenes from Suspiria, and Twitter exploded about it because apparently these scenes are so fucked up that theater owners were just were leaving. Theater okay. owners were leaving, freaked out. And just like screaming and just no, no. Me. What is that? It is. It's so funny though. Yeah, there's apparently some really serious like body horror. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, like 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 I, I and it's supposed to be just just hideously graphically frightening. Tilda Swinton's in it, so already it's pretty scary. Yeah. There's, there's been talk of a Suspiria remake going on for quite a while. Yeah, well, apparently now a bunch Guillermo of people are talking about it. Now gonna do it. Nope, it's this weirdo director of, of uh, the Peach Fucking movie. Okay. The weirdo director of the Peach Fucking movie is now doing his own... Now doing his own... Uh, Remake of Suspiria, and apparently it's the shit. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that you're one of the few people who, you know, who I can talk to Suspiria about. Stop yes. Stop pinching my titty. Exactly. Stop <laughs> pinching my titty, bunny. <laughs> A movie um, I was never too terribly fond of. I mean, Suspiria gets yeah. kind, of, kind of draggy. It's a beautiful looking film. Yes, it is. It's gorgeous to look yeah. at. But yeah. after that, there's not much plot or substance. Yeah, and the the use of color and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. 